Two distilled, brewed, and reviewed. My name is John. I do everything on this channel that has anything to do with alcohol, and that's a lot of fun. And it's pretty cool. And the way you're going to follow it, I made it easy. I have the most extensive, easily navigatable playlist on YouTube. It's a beautiful thing. Just check out the playlist. All those categories pop up. Boom. Um, every. video I do, I pin my first comment because it always has a link to whatever I'm reviewing. In this case, a very unique, cool gin I'm excited to try. So check out the playlist and don't forget to subscribe. Remember, this is a one-stop shop, right? For alcohol. One-stop shop for alcohol and coffee because I also do coffee reviews. It's amazing. It's unbelievable. No one in the world that can do it. And there's no use shopping around all these channels when you can just stay right here and check out the playlist. It's beautiful. Check out this beautiful bottle. Look at that. Gray Whale Gin. Look at it. It's nice. It's cool. What's it say? Gray Whale Gin tells the, um, well, it's got juniper, limes, fir tree, sea kelp, mint, almonds on the front here. 43% alcohol by volume. That's 86 proof. California Botanicals. Hmm perfected with six California botanicals. Every year, the California gray whale makes a 12,000 mile migration from the warm lagoons of the Baja Peninsula to the cool waters of the Arctic. Our small batch gin is a celebration of this incredible journey. Uh, taste your way along the Pacific coastline with every sip of this award-winning gin. First, the aroma of fresh citrus hints, uh, hits you, followed by juniper and a subtle hint of coastal fir trees. It's kind of like juniper to me. Uh, as you move up the path, cool mint, and then your mommy. <laughs> your mommy? <laughs> Joe mama? What the hell's in? Uh, flavors of kombu sea kelp are rounded out by a beautiful tasting almond finish. Okay. Six California botanicals in harmony with uh, junipers. Oh no, I'm not reading. Uh, another classic gin botanical. All right, that's all we need to know, right? I got it. Quit went downhill quickly. All right, now this tells you. Juniper, where does it come from? Wild forge from the Big Sur Rocky coastline. Mm, that's pretty cool. And juniper is a super berry packed with antioxidants and praised as a natural detoxifier for centuries. Juniper berries hand-picked from the Golden State are the heart of our superbly smooth gin. Limes. Limes, lemons, and oranges from Temecola Valley are lovingly hand-zested for every batch. Okay. These bright citrus uh, notes kick off our gin journey. Yeah, we'll see. Fir trees, sustainably sourced from a tree farm in Sonoma Valley. Very interesting so far, right? We sustainably harvest from living fir trees and deneedle each one by hand. The fir imparts a cool pine coastal quality, a breath of Northern California in our gin sea kelp. Kombu seaweed wild harvests from kelp beds in the Mendocino coast. Mwah, me. Uh, abundant in flavor and rich in mineral content. Kombu is unlike, uh, is unlike any other sea vegetable. I know it's vegetable. Earning it the title of the king of seaweeds. <laughs> All right. Spray of Pacific Ocean in every sip. Mint from the Santa Cruz, a perfect amount of California cool mint. Not home. And then, almonds. Each season our almonds are harvested from Cape Valley. And it also says, uh, well, California makes more almonds than anywhere else in the world. The almond trees bloom white flowers in the spring, and the almond seed is ready to be harvested in August. The almonds give over or argin a delicate mouthfeel and creamy finish. Uh, and then it says that they donate to a uh, organization that helps the environment, especially cleaning up the oceans. And um, that's about it. Shall we?
crystal clear. Oh yeah, definitely juniper and pine. And citrus. A little bit of mint. Nuttiness, it all seems to be in there. Let's give it a taste. It is first and foremost juniper slash fir tree. Piney. Now, We do have the zesty lemon flavor. Let's go through it. Juniper, check. And limes, lemon, getting lime. Oh, excuse me, yeah, lemon. You might get either one of those. Um, fir trees, not really sure what that tastes like. I'm going with the piney thing with that. Um, sea kelp. A little bit of saltiness. Give you that. Not getting a lot of seaweed. I do eat it. The kind from Costco with the very good. But I'm not getting that. Maybe mixed in there. Um, mint. Yeah, definitely on the aftertaste. Breathing out. Cool mint. And finally, almonds. Is there a nuttiness to this? There is. There's also sweetness. I don't like, um, usually I like London Dry Gin uh, when I'm drinking gin uh, as a mixer. This one, however, is very tasty. Cool. You know, gin's known for its botanicals. They'll either kill you or you're going to live forever. This one's good. It's all California. It's tasty. You can sip it all day long, uh, not even over ice. I would put this in the refrigerator and just sip it like it is because I like it. That's how much I like it. All right, everybody, thanks for being here. I'll see you on the next one.